What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're gonna to do one of our three weekly Copart walk-arounds out here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street in Dell City, Oklahoma. This is my local Copart yard number 18. I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to all the folks here that allow me to come out here and do this, as well as corporate office allows me to do this as well. And thank you to all of you for joining me and making these videos possible. We're gonna jump right into this today. So number one on my list is a 2014 Mercedes C250. Now, this is carnage we're, we're starting with carnage for those of you that hate it i apologize for those of you that love it well you're welcome it looks like it used to be a really really nice car i actually really do like the c-class it's a small car you know kind of a compact mercedes but it's still got plenty of room on the interior it's still stylish it's classy looking nothing wrong with it man i daily drive something like this in a heartbeat i mean consider I've been daily driving a 2012 Chevy Cruze lately, and you know, I think you could understand why I would be more than happy to daily drive a Mercedes. This thing took a really hard hit, and it actually smells wonderful. It smells really good inside. I noticed that about Mercedes. A lot of the Mercedes, a lot of these higher-end cars, they actually smell really good on the interior. <laughs> I, I don't know why that is, but you can see this thing took an extremely hard hit to the front. There's probably nothing left in this car that's really worth anything other than some body panels, a few interior components, and that may be about it. Um, the engine is, is crushed. I can see the engine is all busted and cracked up. Uh, maybe the transmission's okay. Possibly. The rest of the car is, uh, is pretty well trashed, though. Looks like everybody was okay, though. I don't see any uh, any stains on the interior. So I think everybody that was inside turned out all right. Hey, it's a Mercedes, man. It's a safe car. And, and that was a... Re I mean, look at it. This was, this was a hard hit. This is a really hard hit. This car took it with grace and style. Next, we have a 2016 Lexus RX 350. 20, what? 28,000 miles on the odometer? What a beautiful SUV. Well until you get to the back now i knew it had some rear end damage but i figured we'd take a look at it anyway and see just how bad it is of course with lexus parts something like this is going to be very expensive you've got the whole quarter panel is crunched in i can see why this thing was totaled i mean look at this the entire quarter panel has been buckled it's been pushed in pretty pretty significantly pretty significantly look at the body lines here and you see that the door is actually in to or actually i should say the quarter panel is into the door here yeah yeah this got pushed in quite a bit so you're gonna have to have one heck of a pull over here on this side that quarter's got to be replaced the rear hatch is junk i'm sure there's damage to the pan under there that we're not seeing looks like this side came out okay though gap looks looks a little wide but at least it's uniform from top to bottom no, that maybe that's not a wide gap it looks like the gaps on the rest of it it could be done it could be done but uh you know for an insurance company to do it it's going to cost a fortune if you were to do something like this at home hey, you could save yourself a lot of money and have yourself a really nice lexus let's take a look at the inside it's beautiful man this is nice let's crank her up there's no reason this thing shouldn't run and drive push to start wait wait what <laughs> well it beeped i thought it beeped I guess it's dead. Dead as a doornail, right? Uh, let's see what we're working with under the hood. Wait, I just heard it ding again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, the battery's dead. The battery's dead and the electronics are going a little bit on the crazy side. Let's see if we can find the hood release here. There she is. The hood shocks are weak. Very weak. That seems a little strange for a 2016. The thing's not that old. Huh. Well, everything under here looks pretty good. I mean, it's only got 26,000 miles on it. Or 28,000 miles, so I mean, it shouldn't really need anything. Coolant is full. The oil is clean. Good. It looks like someone was taking care of it at least. Man, I love that front end. That is an aggressive looking front end. I think it's sick. Now, typically there's nothing about a Ford Focus that particularly interests me, 
other than they're good selling cars. This one, on the other hand, I just had to come and check out for myself because the pictures, the pictures just confuse the living heck out of me. So this is a 2012 Focus. It's got 200 and some thousand miles on the clock. You've obviously got some front end damage. We've got a lot of airbags deployed. And I'm just, I can't help but wonder, I, I'll have to show you. I'll have to show you because uh, the pictures, <laughs> uh, the pictures just kind of blew my mind. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what happened to this car, but it looks like, I mean, this looks like it was a pretty nice Focus for a Focus, you know? Looks like it was pretty highly specced out. I love the seats. Uh, the trim is all broken over here. We've got blown bags on the passenger side. Oh, and this door doesn't, that door doesn't close at all. Then on this side, the door panel's gone for no apparent reason. The trim is pulled off and ripped for no apparent reason. The dashboard is completely torn apart for no apparent reason. Uh, driver bag blown, side bag's blown, but the passenger bag is not blown. That's interesting. Of course, the stereo's ripped out. I mean, everything's been ripped out of the center stack here. Uh, yeah, everything's just been ripped out. I don't know if we can get under the hood or not, but this, this just gets better and better as we continue. It's listed as a no start for good reason. Looks like the hood is closed. Well, it should be fun because I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if the hood release works. Yes, it does. Yeah, wait till you see this. If you thought the car was bad already... There we go. Where is the release? There it is. Have a look at this. Yeah, the the engine is uh, it's just hanging. I, I'm I don't think the transmission is in here anymore. Um, in fact, I'm pretty certain the transmission is gone. But it looks like the transmission. This does not look like someone was replacing a tranny. You know what I mean? Uh, everything is ripped and busted. It looks like the transmission was just ripped violently out of this car. And you, you can see down here, it obviously hit something low. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get under there and get a better look. Oh, there's the tranny. The transmission's on the ground. Oh, wow. Look at the, uh, look at the cradle and everything down there. It's gone. It's ripped out. Wow. Wow, I didn't see that in the pictures. Dang. So they hit something low and real hard. My God. Yeah, that would have hurt. That would have hurt. I just thought it was interesting because I, I don't think I've ever seen a car out here at this Copart lot that uh, looked pretty normal, you know, just from walking around it, but had the transmission literally hanging out on the ground. Very strange, and it's still strange to me that all the uh, the door panel stuff have been ripped off on this side, but not that side. Very, uh, very confusing. Here we have a 2004 Audi A4, and I've had one of these. I had a little cabriolet, and it was a fun little car. This one, I did not see the rest of the pictures. <laughs> this is one I must have been rushing through. Uh, because I was like, okay, it's got a little bit of front end damage, not too bad, but it has 234,000 miles. And then you get to the quarter panel and you can already see there's some significant damage back here. So, dang, man, <laughs> that sucks. That's what I get for rushing. Look at this. I mean, the whole back end is just, it's trashed. The whole back end is trashed. So, yeah, I can I can see. I thought this was just some light front end damage. And I was like, oh, it's not a big deal, man. It's not a big deal. Let's see if we can pop the hood on it. it looks like it's got an aftermarket uh, aftermarket intercooler. Oh man! Not only does it have an aftermarket intercooler, folks, it's got a cone air filter. <sighs> Dang! Dang, this must be fast. It's also got a half-painted valve cover. Man. Whew. Blue silicon sleeve. Yeah, boy. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. 
<laughs> that's weird uh, the blue silicon sleeves red air filter and red uh red valve cover yeah, it looks like that was done a long time ago let's see what the interior looks like the windshield whoa dang okay you got to be careful out here that's why you sign that waiver when you come to copart man you can get hurt out here you know these are wrecked cars there's sharp parts on them things happen accidents happen oh we got the carbon fiber wrap on the pillar man that had to make the car at least 50 pounds lighter right <laughs> some of the things people do to these cars man i'm telling you it's listed as a run and drive let's let's see if we can fire it up oh good god what were you two feet tall jeez i can't even fit oh, another dead one okay well dang okay that's enough of that car look at this rim too man i mean just busted it i'm wondering what happened did someone clip him in the rear end he hit somebody else i mean how did both rear quarters get smashed like that and the front end like <laughs> this car had a bad day next we have a 2013 ford focus what is with the ford focuses today right this is just one that I, I thought it was another interesting collision i mean as you can see it was obviously in a in a pretty decent wreck this fender's been ripped out the hood was ripped all the way up to the point where it actually ripped through the, the hinges ripped through the pillar here um the engine though th this is where i think it's interesting all right uh, obviously this fender was just crunched into the door Thirty-five thousand miles i mean that's very low mileage um but then we get to the engine and this is what completely just kind of threw me for a loop so i figured i'd share it and you guys can comment below and tell me what you think happened here as you can see the intake runners are destroyed i mean they're non-existent the intake runners are absolutely crushed and destroyed on this but the radiator granted over here the radiator is uh, or the the fan and the radiator are pushed in but not to the point where i would have thought it would have completely shattered the runners i guess i could be wrong Maybe this was pushed in enough that it actually was capable of shattering the runners. But even then, if you look right here, this runner is shattered, but there's nothing here. There's nothing here that looks like it should have hit or shattered the runners. Unless it was the hood or maybe the upper support somehow got crunched down into it. I don't know. But I figured I'd show it because I thought it was interesting. And now that we're here, we got to look at it. Okay, we're not, yeah, that door's not. Oh man, look at this. I didn't even see that my goodness what a what a strange accident right what happened we'll take a look at the other side the rest of the car actually looks really nice really really nice 35,000 miles and not an airbag deployed isn't that interesting no deployed bags either I don't know man <laughs> kind of what's pouring out of the door what is this? There's something pouring out of the car. I don't know, man. I <laughs> this one, this one is, is a little on the confusing side. Here we got a 2012 Prius. This would be a great car. As much as I've been commuting back and forth to the, uh, the new house lately, future home of auto auction rebuilds, man, I've put 600 miles in the last five days on my Chevy Cruze. And I sure am missing my Prius. I had a 2013 Prius and I'm really missing that car. But here's an opportunity to have one for probably pennies on the dollar, to be honest with you. It's got a little bit of a cosmetic damage down here. Nothing, nothing other than superficial damage. Lots of hail damage though. I don't know how well that'll come out on camera, but she's got quite a bit of hail damage. Lots of dings all over it. So that's what it's here for. It's salvage title because of uh of hail and it is it is absolutely riddled with hail the whole car 104,000 miles so for a toyota yeah that's low mileage however you you've got to know these cars it looks like this back bumper has been replaced uh the color does not match on that rear panel there maybe not i don't know the color looks totally off to me between the bumper and not that it matters not that ever some of these hail dings are are pretty significant uh, I mean, seriously, <laughs> like some of these things are significant. Uh, one of the things to know about the Prius is this generation, I believe this is the third gen, had, they're notorious for burning oil. Like they burn oil bad. Mine was no exception. Mine had about 120,000 miles on it. And I mean, that thing drank 
oil like constantly uh i haven't got to the point instead of putting the zero weight 20 in it i was putting in a 10w40 just to try to thicken it up and i'm telling you it drank that too <laughs> the the prius is an oil drinking machine man she is uh not shy about her uh oil drinking problem and this thing is filthy see i kept mine clean mine was real clean under the hood what i do like though is the fluids look good coolant reservoir coolant tanks are good they're clean uh zero weight 20 yeah nah not in something like this let's see what the oil looks like you see this one this one, no exception to the rule here man these third gens look how low that is hopefully you can see that it's it's half low and if you don't know to check your oil regularly in these like i would check mine about every five to six hundred miles just to be on the safe side because if it started drinking more oil i wanted to know about it you know so if you own a third gen prius i highly recommend they're great cars they're great cars just check your oil and change it regularly although with as much oil as it drinks you don't really have to change it all that often the car kind of gives itself an oil change because it drinks so much you got to constantly put new oil in it it says it's ready it says it's running i don't know if you can see the dash or not but i don't see any check engine lights there went the engine the actual gasoline motor just kicked in charging up the battery yeah there's no service lights on this this is nice i mean it's it's a base model mine had leather mine had navigation mine had the sunroof mine had the uh, uh solar panel roof as well but this would be a great i'm actually going to watch this i'm going to watch this because this would be a great shift to park yeah i know doors open very nice this would be great for constantly commuting back and forth uh with the kind of miles i'm driving lately this thing would be excellent for that air conditioning works does the important window work it does it does yeah i'm gonna watch this one i'm gonna watch this one real close we'll see what happens i love the prius Ain't nothing wrong with a Prius. Last but not least, we got a 2019 Toyota Tundra with 1,934 miles on the clock. What a beauty. Oh, what a shame. This is a big truck. And uh, we got a uh, nice little notation here that lets you know that it pulls to the left so we can see the front wheel is slightly turned to the right we'll check on the other side and see if it is also turned slightly to the right so the bed is trashed obviously frame damage who knows maybe possibly i haven't seen the other side yet definitely got a lot of problems down here uh this door that rocker that's that's probably where the money's at the bed itself i'm sure is expensive but that uh that rocker panel and this corner, this cab corner and everything. <clears throat> Let's see. Spacing on running board is off. This wheel looks like it's also turned slightly to the right. Probably some minor suspension damage. Looks like this uh, this hit something. The uh, front bumper was pushed in just a hair. And well, it looks like the front bumper was pushed in just a hair on this side too. Or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Somebody added this aftermarket uh, piece right here. And I think that's what makes it look off. You see that there's a big gap right here and i think it's just this little uh, this little fender flare here otherwise it's probably all right hey just don't use that door and drive it as is oh will this one start up what do you think i think this one's gonna fire up because we got we got lights on i just want to hear it run oh yeah oh yeah she runs So we definitely got some uh, we definitely got some problem drive start control malfunction visit your dealer four low four high is flashing ABS traction control Man, this thing's got all kinds of problems doesn't it nice looking truck though and that smell 
There's nothing like the smell of a new car, man. I'm telling you, nothing. Look at this. What a beautiful truck. I wonder if this door works. It does. The door works. Wow. So much room in this thing. My goodness. This is what I need, man. I need one of these. Does it actually latch? Yeah. yeah it's latched. It's closed. Let's pop the hood. Take a look at the engine before we close out this video. Oh, I would love to have something like this, man. Wow, that motor looks, uh, it looks kind of crazy. I wonder what the horsepower and torque specs are on this. I'll bet it's very respectable. I'll bet it is a 1,900 miles. Like, this is a brand new truck, guys. Brand new truck, put a bed on it. Hey, I don't know what you're gonna do about that cab corner and the, uh, and the rear door. That's gonna, I mean, you're gonna have to actually do some work on that, but. To me, this is something that looks totally salvageable. If I had more money, if I had more money, I would totally save this truck. This thing is beautiful, beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this Copart walk around. I wanna thank you again for joining me. Seriously, I truly appreciate it. If you enjoy the content, please do a couple things for me. Give the video a big thumbs up and share the video. That's all I ask. I don't want any money. I don't want anything from you. Just take two seconds to share the video on Facebook, to share the video on Twitter, share it with your friends. I appreciate it, and it really does help the channel out. Thank you to Copart, Local Yard 18 here, 2829 Southeast 15th Street. Thank you to all the people here. Thank you to uh, Copart Corporate and, and all of you, because without you, none of this is possible. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you that do support the channel. And you know what? Even the trolls, I even, even though I may say horrible things to the trolls from time to time, I know I feed the trolls, if they participate, they watch videos, and even if they leave negative comments, it still helps the channel. So thank you to the trolls as well. I'm gonna get out of here, folks, because I've got to record the second part of this Copart walk around. Until next time, stay safe out there. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.